Welcome back, guys, to some more Plants vs. Zombies. It's me, Sammy Mong, of course. And today, we're checking out the new DLC character, Breakfast Brain. So, in our last video, we checked out Toxic Citron. And as you can see, we're on Wolf Samer's account because I'm yet to get them still, which is it's a bit of a shame, but we can still get gameplay up for you guys in, in video form. But yeah, we're gonna try out to Toxic? Toxic? We're gonna try out breakfast brains. I was about to say toxic brains. I was like, what? What? No, we're gonna try out breakfast brains and see if his waffles and increased rate of fire can actually whip out some mad damage. So yeah, let's go into a game and see how well we can do. Okay, guys, the round has just started. I I I'm not gonna lie, okay? I've been trying to get some decent breakfast brains gameplay for the past couple of days. Now, the only worrying sort of variant or point of like sort of just watch out for is the lack of damage from breakfast brains oh oh yo that corn that corn does not know what's about to hit him oh oh oh, oh never do i never do i oh no we're being attacked by a fire pea shooter yeah the lack of damage just on the on the hero is amazing now the waffles do three damage per hit and obviously they increase in rate of fire and so does the melee attack it does four damage per hit and it also increases in the rate of fire and you're not going to start capturing this friend sorry where'd he go where'd he go there's a citron trying to give it this oh see look at this look increases in rate of fire but because it only does four damage unless you get a good oh sorry it's my twitter going off just like every other video and this discord this uh citron is actually just trolling us isn't he friend no friend you cannot troll us like this Stop it! Stop it! Get out of our zone! But just as I was saying, what was I saying? The rate of fire, yeah. Unless you get a good sort of build up on your rate of fire, i.e. you come up from behind your target, you're able, oh, you're able to get him caught in a stun or a trap like that, you're not going to get too much damage off because the slow rate of fire, obviously, you're not doing too much damage anyway. And by the time you start attacking a target and get your high rate of fire up, they've already started attacking you, they're doing mad damage back to you. Oh! Oh, God! He was so close to killing me. Let's just let's just have a gander next to this healing pod quickly and see. There's a, there's a few targets coming up there. So what I do suggest, if you are playing breakfast plane, breakfast planes, breakfast brains, guys, is to actually try and come up from behind your target like this and just get into one v one situations where they're going to have to turn around to actually be able to like do damage to you. And it just gives you the chance to get away, get back to say a healing bot if you've got one up and heal up that way. But at the moment. Oh my god, this, this cactus. Sorry, cactus, there we go. Perfect example. Come up from behind him and just 1v1 him. And there is another great example of the lackluster damage. Like, although you've got a mad rate of fire, it doesn't do that much damage. You do have to sit there for a while and get some good hits off. So this corn will out, like, out battle me, if that makes sense. If I didn't shoot him first and if he didn't have low health. If he had full health and he shot me first, I couldn't turn around and just batter him up. With super brains, okay? Or breakfast brains. This is not the type of breakfast brains that you can do that with. You have to be sneaky and try and flank round and take out smaller targets. Be an annoyance. If you ever played Overwatch and you played as Tracer, be, a, be an annoyance like you are when you play as Tracer, okay? Just because as Tracer... Oh, yo. yo oh, look, look, you've spotted me. I was going to try and come up from behind him. Look, all these breakfast brains, all these just sort um, standard superheroes coming up here. Is he still there? Is he still dead? There's a cactus trying to come up this way. There's a cactus trying to come up this way. Oh, but there's a corn there as well. No, no, the corn! The corn! Oh! The corn! Oh, I got stuck on the hill. I got stuck on the hill. I should have used my heroic kick to try and get out. And that's something else to also mention as well, is that you've got all your standard hero abilities, okay? And usually, when I play as a hero, it'd be cosmic brains, electric brains, I like to use my heroic kick to actually close down a target, get closer to them. Obviously, and then if I hit them, I'm doing damage, which is perfect. Get them a little bit beaten up and battered before I go in and try and finish them off. But then, with breakfast brains, I actually like to try and sneak up, as I said, flank around and do some damage that way. And use my... Ah! Oh, ah, oh, the Citron was still alive! No! No! I thought he was killed. I thought he was killed in that madness that just eschewed, unshewed, whatever the word is, ensured. I don't know. But yeah, with the heroic kick, I actually just sort of flank around and use it to get away. As I said, you're going to not do a lot of damage. Fights are going to last a while. So if you can use heroic kick to actually get away after you've been engaged and you're on low health, it is really useful just for getting out, healing up, and I'm just 
Yo, bro, you could have put a healing bot down there. You could have put a healing bot down there. Oh, oh. There we go. Oh, did we get one? Oh, we didn't get one. We didn't get one. Oh, we got one. We got one of them. We did some. We did some measly, measly damage. Now let's get up there. Oh, 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 that. Oh, yo, they're all here. They're all here. Oh, there's my twin going off again. Mad damage. Mad damage. Oh, the corn. The corn is down. The corn is down. Let's go. Oh no. We heroic kicked. Oh, into somewhere. Oh, we're on such low health. We're on such low health. We're on four health. We're a one shot right now. We're a one shot. Oh! The Citron from the side. He's still on the roof. He's still just chilling out on the roof. But in terms of actual gameplay, you guys, Breakfast Brains is really, really fun to play as. Like, you get some variants that just absolutely poon. Whereas, I'd say Breakfast Brains is more of a skill-based gameplay. So, once you get a kill, it just feels so satisfying. It does take a while. You have to get used to flanking round, building up that damage. And, actually, if you can, building up damage on multiple targets. Because, let's just take out this. Let's take out this with our waffles. And, oh, it's actually doing five per hit. Interesting. See, oh, it's only, is it doing three on a Citroen? Is it doing five? It's doing, oh, it's doing five. My bad, guys. I thought it was three. My bad. So, it's still, it's still actually a lot more useful at long range. But I'm guessing the downside to it is once you get into that high rate of fire, you can see the reticle is spreading. That means your bullets are spreading. So, it's better used on bigger targets then, such as a Citron, a Corn, maybe, if they're in a close quarters combat. Because they're more tall than anything. They're more tall than they are big and fat if that makes sense not really that much of a big target they're just tall and lanky so if they're in a doorway like finding this at a corn should be easy but we need to get back no not like this no there was a zombot right there as well zombot right there we're doing okay we're halfway up and we're not as i said we've not even got any character upgrades as well at the moment i would like that health upgrade i would like the health regeneration upgrade because all i've got at the moment is health regeneration delay and nine times out of ten, I'm finding myself dying quite a lot anyways. I don't I don't have that chance to actually pull back and allow my health regeneration to kick in a lot faster. So let's try and flank round up here. And is the corn still here? Is the corn still here? The corn's not here. And we've won the game as well. Guys, that has been just some quick banterous gameplay with Breakfast Brains. If you've enjoyed, be sure to leave a like down below. Of course, we will see more in the future if you want to see toxic citron overwatch or just more general plants vs zombies gameplay be sure to check out our channel and subscribe if you think we are worthy but until next time guys thanks oh okay we've got most healing somehow most healing <laughs> how did we get most healing probably through our zombots yeah literally probably through the zombots but yeah guys thanks and i'll see you on the next video